The United States and Cuba may not yet have diplomatic relations again, but there's one thing the two countries have in common, baseball. But the similarity ends there. The rules are the same, but in this communist country, there are no professional teams, and there's no charge for any sporting event. The top league here is thought to be on a par with the high minors in the United States. And American scouts say there are 10 Cubans who could play Major League Baseball right now. One is slugging first baseman Antonio Munoz. The 28-year-old physical education teacher said through an interpreter he'd like to play in the big leagues. A surprising comment since the Cuban government opposes professionalism. He quickly changed his statement. He said that he don't think that he will have any benefit playing in the major league. That uh, the revolutionary government of Cuba gave him all what he want in this level and that he will just like to see that baseball but he's not interested in playing at that level. Third baseman Pedro Rodriguez showed why he's a favorite as he hit a 390 foot home run out of Havana's Latin American Stadium. These men are not pros in the American sense. But they are given three months off with pay during the regular season, and the best of them compete internationally on the prestigious national team. Cuba's sports industry makes all the equipment, including bats made of Russian ash. But the best teams seem to prefer the ones made in the United States, which are bought in Mexico. And all foul balls are returned, a custom that started when the trade embargo was initiated in 1962. Baseball is a passion here, and there was great disappointment when the Yankees didn't come to play. By next fall, however, some big league team is expected to visit Havana again. But another old tradition will not be renewed. No longer will Cuban baseball players like Minnie Minoso, Tony Perez, or Louis Tiant be exported to the majors. As a government spokesman says, under the current Cuban system, an athlete is not merchandise. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News, Havana.